This is Professor Sampson and today we're going to cover Squires uh, section 2.4 and 2.5 on reducing or simplifying fractions. Now before when we had to simplify fractions, before we had our calculator we had to do it by hand. So what we would have to do is find a number or find the greatest common factor, which is what the video was prior to this, of these two numbers and then divide it and that would simplify our fraction. A simplified fraction is one where you do not have any other greatest common factors or the greatest common factor is 1. So this is 12 over 28 and you want to simplify it, you want to reduce it. Right. If we wanted to recall our greatest common factor, we could do that on our calculator. Right. We could go to math, right, over to num 9, and then put in 12 and 28, 12 comma 28, and we find out our greatest common factor is 4. That means that's the largest number that goes into both of these numbers. And if you didn't know your division, you would say 12 divided by 4 will give me 3, right? And then 28 divided by 4, you should know it's 7, right? Will give me 7. 3 over 7. So that's when I would say the greatest common factor, I would say the greatest common factor was 4. And 4 totally reduces the problem. So I have 3 over 7. 3 and 7. Neither 3 and 7, the only common factor between 3 and 7 are 1, so we know that it's totally simplified, that it's reduced. Okay. So what we did was, to recap, we had 12 over 28. Right. What we did, we divided it, broke it down, divided our top by 4, and we also divided our bottom by 4. 12 divided by 4 is 3. 28 divided by 4 is 7. And that's how we reduced or got our simplified fraction. We're not going to be doing that. We're going to be using our calculator, but this is how you would do it by hand. The reason that we're not going to be doing it by hand is, yes, it seems pretty easy when you have smaller numbers. And then who always wants to go in and find the GCF? All right, so let's see two ways to do it in our calculator. All right, so 12 over 28. Okay, so let me grab my calculator. The fastest way, I'm going to call this way 1, all right, to find the greatest common factor if you do not have the upgrade, and we discussed the upgrade in the other videos, but if you do not have an upgrade or you have a TI-83, all right. The calculator is always going to divide out and give you your answer in a decimal. So if I put in 12 over 28, right, the calculator is going to give me some decimal. To get that decimal into a fraction, right, so to change that decimal right, to a fraction, right, I have to hit math, the math button which we discussed, and then I have to hit enter twice. Math, enter, enter. I call it me. Doing me. Alright, math, enter, enter. So we had 12 over 28. It's a decimal. We're going to hit math, and as you see the first thing that comes up is fraction. That's why we're just going to hit enter and enter. And that's going to give me, as you see, 3 over 7, which was our answer. So math, enter, enter, will hit 3 over 7. And that's the way you change any decimal to a fraction, by hitting math, enter, enter. And you can do that in any of the graphing calculator, whether you have an 84 or an 83, with or without the upgrade. So that's the way you want to do it. And the calculator is always going to give you a fully reduced answer. It's always going to give you the simplified answer. It's going to take into consideration that GCF, and it's going to reduce it. So you don't have to do anything to it. Just put it in the calculator and hit math, enter, enter. All right? The other way is if you have the upgrade. All right? 
if you have the upgrade. And this is only for TI-84s, alright? So, way two, alright? If you have a TI-84 or 84 plus, alright? If you have a TI-84 plus, you can use the upgrade. Any upgrade, you need to hit the alpha button. Then you hit the Y equals button, which we discussed before. That button in the upper left hand corner. And then you will make your selection, which in this case will be the fraction selection, whatever that fraction is. So for example, if I do it again, I hit uh, alpha, right, and I hit Y equals that sends me to the fraction menu, right? That gives me, that equals the fraction menu. Right? That gives me the fraction menu. So when I hit alpha y equals, I get the fraction menu. And the fraction menu is here. The first one will give you boxes for a numerator denominator. The second one, which we'll discuss in a later chapter for a uh, mixed number, the third one changes your regular uh, numerator denominator into a mixed number, all right, and then a fraction to a decimal, but we don't use that one often because, as we know, if we put in a fraction, it's going to give us back a decimal. That's how the calculator does. So anyway, we're going to select, after you get to the fraction menu, you're going to select the numerator denominator just by hitting enter, right, and you see the blinking lights, the blinking fraction bar. So all you're going to do at that point is just fill in your 12 over 28, which we had here. You put in 12, you go down, and you put in 28, and you hit enter. And it will give you back the answer already in a fraction form. You don't have to hit math, enter, enter at that point. So you go to alpha, y equals, you get to the fraction menu. All right. After you get to the fraction menu, you select number one. After you select number one, the boxes will come in, and I'll say you just fill in the blanks. So let's try that for another one. Let's get ourselves a larger number. All right, and I'll do the steps again. I'll go through both set of steps. All right. This is the reason why we don't necessarily want to do it by hand. We have 330 divided by 450. Of course, the quick way with anybody's calculator is you just put in 350 divided by 330, sorry, 330 divided by 450. So 330 divided by 450, right, gave you a decimal, and you just hit math, and you hit enter, enter, twice, and it'll give you the answer. The answer is 11 over 15, right? If you want to use the upgrade, then remember you have to go to the alpha, hit the y equals, select number one, so it can give you the boxes for numerator and denominator. Put in 330, fill in the blanks, over 450, hit enter, and it's going to give you 11 over 15. Of course, the same answer. All right, let's try another one. Let's try 32 over 56. All right, 32 over 56. So again, I'm just going to quickly go 32 over 56, math, enter, enter, and there's my answer, 4 over 7. I really like that method because it's nice and quick. I don't have to go to any other menu, but for those of you who like that, you go to alpha, y equals, and then you can fill in the spots. You don't have to have math, enter, enter, 32 over 56, and then it'll give you the answer back. So as you see, simplifying fractions is not difficult at all in your calculator as long as you remember the steps 
and if you remember the steps uh, that are simple, then you'll be okay. This one is 24 over 102. 24 divided by 102. You can hit math, enter, enter at this point because you already know that you want a fraction back, and that answer is 4 over 17. Right? Fully reduced answer. This last one I'll do using the upgrade because I didn't do many using the upgrade. I use the upgrade for something different. 132 over 180. So I'm going to hit alpha, y equals, select it. I'm going to type in 132, go down to the other box, type in 180, and hit enter. And it's going to give me my answer as 11 over 15. I could have simply did 132 over 180, math, enter, enter, and still got the same thing, 11 over 15. Okay. So as you can see for sections 2.4 and 2.5, it is not that difficult to simplify your fractions. You already know how to simplify them by hand, but you might not want to simplify them by hand because the calculator does it faster and it's going to be more accurate and it's not going to make any mistakes. So this is the video on simplifying fractions. To make the last problem, we have 705 over 105. I'm sorry, 75 over 105. Again, I'm going to do it the quick way. 75 divided by 105, 105, math, enter, enter. And then my answer for that one is 5 over 7, okay? So this is how you simplify fractions in your calculator.